In this video, you will learn how to make a guy chase you. Five psychologically based tips that trigger a man's instincts to pursue you. I'm psychologist and relationship coach, Dr. Antonio Borello, and I can promise you this. When you use these tips, you're going to become the irresistible catch that he just can't get enough of. And that's going to make him pursue, chase, and court you because he wants you and needs you in his life. And it all starts with number one, stop pursuing him. The first one is the most important one. When you start feeling like the guy that you're involved with is slipping away from you, the most obvious reaction is to try to hold on to him or to try to pull him closer. Now, even though that's the most instinctual thing to do, it's also the very worst thing that you can do. That's because pursuing a man is unnatural to him and it just doesn't work. He's a man and from both an evolutionary perspective as well as from a social perspective, men are wired and socialized to pursue women in the courting process. This is something that's been ingrained in them in so many ways. They are brought up knowing that they're supposed to initiate and pursue. Think about it. Boys are taught that they're supposed to show interest. They're taught to ask girls to dance and to ask them to go on a date and so on. So when a man is pursued by a woman, it feels unnatural and they often don't even know how to respond because they don't expect to be chased. And besides being part of our socialization, from an evolutionary perspective, the chase is also a primal response. Men are the hunters, the ones who pursue and compete with other men for your attention and affection. It's ingrained into the deepest parts of the brain. It's an evolutionary response to thousands of years of competing with others for survival. And when he has to pursue you for your attention and work for it, he values you so much more. On the other hand, if you try to pursue him, he's subconsciously going to think that other men don't want you and don't pursue you. So why should he? Then your value goes down. This is super important. He's a man and he has to pursue you. So beginning right now, you have to stop chasing after him. You have to stop pursuing him. And let me get very specific with you on this one. I want you to practice the 80-20 rule or even the 85-15 rule. That means that you must let him initiate contact or communication 80% of the time. You have to stop texting him first. Stop checking on him or calling him first. And you cannot ask to see him or try to initiate plans. Instead, you must let him do it. Not always, but 80% of the time, he should be reaching out to you. Look, I know this is a difficult one to do. It's hard not to reach out because you want to be connected and communicating, but you must do it. Again, make sure you are patient and let him initiate with you at least 80% of the time. Number two, believe you are the prize. So we're getting philosophical here, but what do I mean by believe that you are the prize? Well, you must believe in the core of your being that you are a woman who deserves to be loved unconditionally by a wonderful man. I mean that literally. You must love yourself and know that you deserve to be loved by a great man. And I know that that may be easier said than done. So if you need to fake it until you make it, that's okay too. But what's most important is that you have to be sure your dating behaviors and relationship behaviors communicate the fact that you know your value and you know what you deserve. And here's another fact. That's what men are wired to want. They are expecting you to be the prize that they must work hard for. They are prepared to show you that they want you through their behaviors. And that's why when you start to act the part, you will attract that kind of man. Essentially, believing that you are the prize is practicing self-love. And practicing self-love in the context of a new intimate relationship doesn't always come naturally. That's because when we have strong romantic desires for another person, we often do things that we think will win their affection and we overlook red flags and forgive bad behavior and we can get infatuated and drunk on love. Then the chemically induced love fog overrides our ability to evaluate things clearly and objectively and we get swept up and sometimes engage in behaviors that are anything but self-loving. And this is when the majority of dating mistakes happen. The mistakes that cause men to lose interest or bail on you or use you for sex. Remember, a man will treat you the way you allow him to treat you. So when your boundaries are being tested by a man, how do you handle it? Do you give him multiple chances or make excuses because you're afraid of losing him? No, when you know that you are the prize, you put your self-respect above your feelings and you remain true to your standards and enforce your personal boundaries.
Believing that you're the prize also means that you are not constantly trying to measure how much he likes you or wants you, and instead, you're more focused on how he measures up. You're more focused on how compatible he is, and if he makes the cut or is even deserving of you. So the bottom line, when you practice self-love, when you believe that you are deserving, when you behave in a way that demonstrates this feeling, it influences all of your interactions and you radiate with positive energy. And that wildly increases your level of attractiveness. And when that happens, you are irresistible to him. Number three, be easy to please, but hard to get. When you are first dating a man, be easy to please, but difficult for him to get you. In other words, you are easygoing and agreeable, not high maintenance and difficult or overly demanding. But at the same time, you don't want to appear too available. Remember, your independence and intrigue is attractive. So before he's fully committed and serious about making a future with you, don't always be available for him by always saying yes when he calls and asks you out especially when he's calling last minute or with short notice. Say no to his request for plans. Send him the message that you have other engagements or commitments that are taking priority, at least at this time when he's asking. Again, this triggers his biological instincts to compete for your time. Now, I know that this stuff sounds so primal, but I promise it's true and these tips work. Remember, men are attracted to women who present them with a challenge. So giving your man total access and attention, especially early on before he has earned that position, can be the kiss of death for your relationship. That's because men especially are easily bored when you are always available. Subconsciously, it leads him to believe that you didn't have an important life before him and now nothing is more important to you than him. And that's not attractive. So do not change your schedule around to be more available to him. Remember, he is someone that you just met and hasn't earned that position in your life. So you shouldn't give up your family, your friends, or your hobbies just because this new guy expresses an interest in you. Chances are, those are the things that attracted him to begin with. So be independent, lead your own life, and don't become too invested in him right away. And I'm curious, what are some of the things that you have done to remain a challenge and to keep a guy pursuing you? On our last video, we had some great discussions, so let's continue that again here. Leave a comment and share some of the ways that you've kept a guy pursuing you. I promise to do my best to respond to all of your comments. Number four, don't act exclusive until it's official. If a man tells you that he's not looking for a relationship or anything serious, you need to believe him the first time that he says it before you invest more of yourself and your feelings. And this goes back to number two. If you believe that you are the prize and a relationship is what you want, you will never entertain the idea of getting involved with a man who doesn't want a relationship, regardless of how attractive or successful or popular or desirable he might be. While it may be tempting to adjust your wants and needs to accommodate his, this is absolutely something that you cannot do if you're seeking a long-term relationship. For example, women often start dating a guy who has made it clear that he isn't seeking anything serious, even though they want a relationship. That's because they subscribe to the belief that if they play it casual and go along with his wants, they will eventually be able to convince him to align his wants with theirs. But that doesn't often work because the message it sends is that he doesn't have to work hard to be with you. It also sends the message that you don't have others in line to take his place. So yeah, don't let yourself fall into the situationship trap. In the short term, you may feel that this is working, but in the long run, you are only setting yourself up for disappointment. Isn't it easier to go into a potential relationship with someone who is seeking the same thing rather than going into something that he thinks is casual while you work behind the scenes to change his mind? Don't waste your time trying to change him when instead you could be with someone seeking the same thing and worthy of your time and resources. You have to believe men when they say they aren't looking for a relationship. Trust me, you will save yourself so much time, effort, heartache, and disappointment if you do. Number five, keep your standards high and enforce your boundaries. When a man really likes you and really wants you, he shows you and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Again, it's part of what men have been socialized to do. But I know it gets challenging, especially when men are incongruent and say one thing while doing another. So if it's not crystal clear that he wants a future with you, stop entertaining his mixed messages or half-hearted attempts to show you that he really cares. That's where enforcing your standards and expectations comes in. If a man is not showing you the love and affection that you expect, do not complain or nag or fight with him. That's not going to change anything. 
Instead, take away your attention and be willing to walk away. If he has any kind of real desire for you, he will pull out all of the stops to get you back. But again, he must know that he has to meet your expectations or he's going to lose you. That's not something that you need to tell him. It needs to be demonstrated in your behavior. He needs to feel that you aren't willing to settle and he has to be afraid that he will lose you if he doesn't step up his game. And he will only experience this if he knows your standards and that you won't tolerate anything less than you deserve. I'll see you in the next video.